skate from left to right on your screens at home for the first period. Norwich in their road red uniforms with the navy and white trim, the Rose of New England on their right shoulders. They skate from right to left as we are underway, and Ivan Kovalev breaks into the Norwich zone for the first time. Kovalev lost possession of the puck behind the net. Romita looking to clear. Now left from the point. That gets deflected out of play. I think that went off the lip of the boards. Let's see where the faceoff will be. It will be in the Norwich zone. Only 20 seconds into the first period. As we mentioned, Norwich currently 12 points out of a playoff spot with 17 games left to go. It's going to be a steep hill, but it's not impossible if the Sea Captains are going to make the playoffs. You figure it's going to start with a victory here in Danbury, a team that Norwich is 0-4 against so far this season. Norwich has not been able to defeat Danbury. They haven't been able to defeat the uh, Northeast Generals as well. The Generals have already clinched a playoff spot with a 29-2 record. Nobody in the division has defeated the Generals yet. Both of those losses coming out at the Blaine Super Tournament. Looking to work it behind the net for the hat tricks is Dylan Walker. It's knocked away out of his possession. Out towards the blue line. Now here comes Brian Essing by himself as he crosses into the Danbury zone. Essing tripped up from behind. No penalty on the play. Speaking of the officials, the linesmen today are Tommy Maddox and Stephen Finkel. The referee is Dylan Scabelli. To the outside, here's Wesley or check that that's Jacob Deitch. Deitch's shot went wide, chipped up ahead, unable to get a handle on it was Palolaitis. Behind the net, it's Troy Harwell. Second line on the ice for the Sea Captains. It's Harwell, Souza, and Bain today as that puck gets sent out of play. Faceoff will be to the left of McGibbon. Just a minute and 24 seconds into this game. Danbury unable to change as they shot it out of play. Off the draw, shot from the point. McGibbon gets a, a leg on it. Nice shot by Sean Loft, his first shot on goal of the game. Deitch goes D to D across, chipped up off the glass. This goes all the way down the ice. Tony Moran chasing after it. He'll touch up for the icing call. And the faceoff will come back down into the Danbury zone. Danbury in the midst of four games, or check that, three games in four days. They'll take to the road the day after tomorrow and have a home and home against the Long Beach Sharks. Meanwhile, for the Sea Captains, they'll be at home on Saturday, January 29th, an 8 p.m. faceoff against the Northeast Generals. Hope that you can join us right here on Hockey TV for that one. Loftus sends one off the boards. Harwell just has it go behind him. Knocked off of his stick. And now Betancourt sends over far side. In the zone, a couple players collide with each other. Felidi is centering feed, diving out was Loftus. It blocks it away. Bouncing puck ends up in the hands of captain Sean Loftus once again. Now sent far side, knife down by Tegan Beyer. Beyer from the far side half wall, canceled out by Bryce Wallace, captain of Danbury. Eric Fancher behind the net. Manages to direct it along for Wallace. Nikita Kovalev at the blue line. Norwich unable to hold the line as Nick Sack sends it back on in. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone. Just two and two minutes and 35 seconds gone by in the first period. Only one shot on goal so far. It belongs to Sean Loftus and the Norwich Sea Captains. Felidi on the draw against Bayer. Sacks from the neutral zone will send one down deep. First one there is Bryce Wallace. Wallace sends one off the back of the cage. Having some trouble handling that was Jake Harshman. Puck pops on out in the high slot. It's picked up and taken out of the zone. Igorov. Can't get around Sachs. Sachs keeps it in Norwich's possession as Beyer sends it D to D across for Daryl Smith. Back for Beyer. Beyer without much of an option just has to flip it out towards center ice. Wallace from the red line sends it back on down. Yoakum sees this one behind the net. Delayed offsides against Danbury. And so the sea captains are able to clear. But an errant pass goes behind Aiden Bain. Coming out of his cage to play it is Liam McGibbon. That wipes out the icing call. Seth Beagle up ahead for Felidi. Felidi stripped of it at the blue line by Ethan Ranger, but offsides is called 
as Ranger just entered into the zone a second too soon. Wilkie Cook was still on the wrong side of the blue line. Faceoff will be back in the neutral zone with 3.23 gone by in the first. This one gets flopped it on goal. Yoakum will leave it alongside for Romita. Romita turning behind his net under some pressure from Danbury. Romita able to work past it up towards the blue line, not out of the zone, kept alive by Connor Brown. On the second attempt, sea captains are able to clear. Now Jacob Deitch at his own blue line. Fans on the clearance attempt eventually is able to direct it ahead. Cody Hickey sent it into the zone. Westendorf in pursuit. Wesley Westendorf, one of the veterans of this Danbury squad, sees the puck roll off of his stick, gets sent back out towards center ice. Martin Leps is there to pick it up. Leps recently acquired from uh, Texas early, or rather just a few days ago in exchange for Ian McGrath. McGrath now on his third team this season in the NA3HL, and Martin Leps, well, Danbury's got some high hopes for him. He comes into uh, this game with 13 points so far, this season, or check that, from Louisiana, not Texas. Got my southern states mixed up for a moment, but Leps, 28 games, three goals, 10 assists. Certainly an asset for Tyler Noseworthy and this Hattricks club. Sent into the zone by Westendorf. Yoakum sends it up the same side wall. Essing chasing after it, beaten to it by Eric Fancher. Essing, however, following up on the play, is able to get it into the Danbury zone. Turned off his stick by Betancourt at the blue line. At center ice, it's Devereaux. Played up ahead. To the outside, Dylan Walker. Walker, who's been better than a point-per-game player, has the puck knocked off of his stick. Jack Kinahan picks up the loose biscuit. Can't get it out of the zone as Ivan Kovlov sends it back down. Now Jamison Bain. Chipped up the board, soccered back into the zone by Fancher. Stays on side. Danbury looking to get set up in the offensive zone. Essing has it knocked off of his thing. Now Tegan Beyer gives back for Moran. Moran at the top of his own circle sends it all the way down the ice. This will be icing against the sea captains. And so with 14.26 to go in the first period and Danbury still looking for their first shot on goal, faceoff will come all the way down into the sea captains and to the right of Andrew Yoakum. So off the draw. Here's Wallace from the point. His shot goes wide. Tony Moran, who uh, recently spent some time practicing in the NAHL, goes behind the net. Nikita Kovalev all over him. Now Sachs tries to direct it up the wall. He gets it as far as the red line before Bryce Wallace is able to collect. Now Nikita Kovalev, Danbury's leading scorer at center ice. Given along for Nick Rogers. Rogers. Stick handling at the blue line, manages to stay on side. Bounces off the check from Moran. Rogers now cutting towards the front. Takes the shot, it's blocked by Loftus. And Captain Loftus will get it out of the zone. Here's Troy Harwell over the blue line. Harwell all by himself, sends it on goal. McGibbon with the easy save. Face off will be to his right with a 13.38 and counting apparently as, well, they still haven't stopped the clock. There we go, 13.33 to go in the first period. Not sure if anybody noticed. It'll be Ethan Ranger this time, centering Harwell and Trevor Souza. Offensive zone face off for the Sea Captains. Souza, or check that. Ranger with the win at the point. A uh, shot by Smith got blocked. Put on by Ranger, saved by McGibbon, a couple in a row. Souza sends it wide. Souza. Now on the far side, half wall. Wants to get a cycle going. Sends it too hard for Ranger behind the net. Harwell. Cut off by Beagle. Beagle throws it up the wall. Smith keeps it alive and throws it into the far side corner. Now Leps. He tries going up the wall. Sachs is able to knock it away. Can't hold the line. Ranger. Well, well off sides. Let's see where the face off comes. Looks like it'll be just outside the Danbury zone. Lucky break for the sea captains as that easily could have ended up going all the way down the ice. 13.02 to go in the first period. Officially shots are 5-1 to one right now in favor of the Sea Captains. 
Antonio Felitti with the face-off win. Here's Jacob Deitch. Played up ahead, Beagle. Touches along, Felitti gets belted down at the neutral zone. Jamison Bain with the first big hit of the day. Aiden Bain on the far side has the puck roll off of his stick. Seth Beagle goes back up to the blue line. A backhand shot by Agorov goes wide. Aiden Bain on the half wall. Romita is able to clear, chasing after this Killian Ranger. He gets beaten to the puck by Deitch. Following up on the play is Romita. Norwich once again offside, so they have to go back to the blue line. And it'll be Jacob Deitch leading things up ahead. Beagle bounces off of a check from Bayer. At the blue line, it's flipped on down by Leps. Behind the net, Matteo Romita, the only Canadian on this Norwich team. Outlet pass handled by Killian Ranger. Ranger then turns it over. Picked up by Elijah Devereaux. Devereaux's been good against Norwich so far this year. He's averaging two points a game in the four that these teams have played. Four goals and four assists for Elijah Devereaux. As we are expecting sometime later on today that the NA3HL will announce the rosters for their top prospects tournament. Danbury certainly with plenty of good options. Nikita Kovalev has 40 points in 28 games. Danny Khatib has 30 points in 29 games. Nick Rogers is over a point per game. Devereaux over a point per game. Dylan Walker who sees this one go down for icing Dylan Walker in 13 games. All he's done is put up nine goals and nine assists. Ivan Kovalev as well in his first year in the NA3HL. Five goals and 10 assists in 25 games. So not sure how many spot, how many Danbury Junior Hattricks will be selected to the top prospects team. Same can be said for the Norwich Sea Captains. They're led by Ethan Ranger with 28 points in 27 games, so just over a point per game. Brian Essing is also over a point per game with eight points in six games. Shot from the point, gets kicked on down by Fancher. That one stung a bit. Flipped up towards center ice. Moran trying to get it going. Devereaux's off sides, and that draws the whistle as Ivan Kovalev crosses the line. So 11-17 to go in the first period. Face off outside of the Norwich zone. Getting back to the top prospects. As we mentioned, Ethan Ranger and Brian Essing both over a point per game. Jack Kinahan, who was the first round pick in the very first NA3HL draft that the Norwich Sea Captains took part in. He has turned things on as of late. Six goals, seven assists, good for 13 points so far this season. Then also take a look along the blue line as well. You have someone like Tim Hayden, who's an 03 birth year. One of the uh, veterans, and one of the leaders of this Norwich team. He would certainly be a good candidate as well. Flipped up through the neutral zone. Daryl Smith back to retrieve. Chasing after this was Paoletis. Puck then gets sent into the Danbury bench. Looks like that was Giuseppe Bianco who ended up with the puck. Faceoff will be out in the neutral zone with 10.37 to go in the first period. Eyes on, or rather eyes of the NA3HL on this game. It's the only game in the league today. So for everybody watching at home, thanks for joining us. We've got ourselves a good one so far. Here's Nikita Kovalev on the half wall. He'll send it down into an empty area. Daryl Smith going after it, beaten to the puck by Pavelaitis. We have a whistle and a hand pass called as Pavelaitis Played the puck behind the net. Faceoff will come outside the zone with 10.18 to go in the first period. Danny Khatib not available for the Danbury Junior hat trick today. Khatib has put up six points in the four games that these teams have played. And after this, there will be three more games remaining between the two teams. Here's Tim Hayden just talking about him. Directing one off the boards for Trevor Souza. Souza chasing after it. Leps gets to the puck first. Leps pass knocked around by Harwell. Deitch sees a bouncing puck. Souza over skates, but Bain sends one that goes over to Cage McGibbon. Romita on the far side. Prince pissed up against the boards by Igorov. Harwell has that knocked away. Now here's Seth Beagle taking it back the other way. Beagle decked at the blue line. Takes Romita down with him. We have a whistle. Offsides is called uh, against the Hattricks. 
And the faceoff will be in front of a Norwich bench with 9.43 to go in a first period that had some pace at the beginning, although things have certainly become a bit mired with the whistles. Elijah Devereaux up front alongside Dylan Walker and Ivan Kovalev. Betancourt from center ice on goal, saved by Yoakum, and he'll hold on. Yoakum knew where the puck was. He didn't take that furtive look behind him that every goaltender has nightmares about. But the faceoff will be uh, to Yoakum's right with 9.36 to go in the first period. And officially, that's only Danbury's second shot on goal in this game. So Elijah Devereaux, Tegan Beyer on the draw. Beyer with the faceoff win. Gets sent along to the wall from the point. A shot by Betancourt gets blocked. Flipped all the way down the ice. Puck takes a Danbury hop. Goes over the goal line, and that's good enough for icing. So the faceoff will come back on down into the Norwich zone once again. As mentioned, Andrew Yoakum making his return to the Norwich crease today. Last game that Yoakum played for Norwich was back on January the 7th, a 2-1 loss to the Long Beach Sharks. Yoakum is still looking for his first victory at the NA3HL level. Another one of those draft picks like Jack Kinahan, who we spoke about earlier. Here's Devereaux with a shot right into the chest of Yoakum, who had some solid positioning. Faceoff will be to his left with 9-10 to go in the first period. And finally, the Sea Captains are able to get some fresh legs on the ice. It'll be Cam Holton, Wilkie Cook, Ethan Ranger up front, Daryl Smith, and Nick Sachs back on the, or yes, Nick Sachs back on the blue line. Sachs's two looked like for a looked like a one for a moment. Thought we might have been looking at Drew Schemmel out there, but Schemmel unfortunately injured right now, and that's a big loss for the Norwich Sea Captains as behind the net, net actually gets knocked off of its moorings, lands right back on him. And we have a whistle, apparently not back perfectly enough for the referee's liking as we have a whistle. Faceoff will remain in the Norwich zone. 8.52 to go in the first period. And Danbury will get some fresh legs on the ice themselves. It'll be Nikita Kovalev, Nick Rogers, and Dominic Pawelaitis. Pawelaitis now only playing in his fourth game for Danbury, native of West Simsbury, Connecticut, has not recorded a point yet. But with line mates like Nick Rogers and Nikita Kovalev, you figure the points aren't too far behind. Here is Rogers with the puck. Pestered by Ranger. Given down low. Kovalev with a go from a bad angle. That goes off the shoulder of Yoakum and out of play. Faceoff will remain in the Norwich zone with 8.40 to go in the first period. Teams keeping the, le the legs fresh so far today. Danbury head coach Tyler Noseworthy, Norwich head coach Kevin Cunningham. They know what it takes to get ready for a playoff push. As mentioned, Danbury solidly in a playoff position, especially with their recent 7-1 and 2 run that they've had. Danbury so far in the 2022 calendar year. Only one loss in regulation, and that came back on January the 7th, a 7-5 loss to the New Jersey Titans. Now here's a two-on-one developing. It's Nick Rogers into the zone, chipped across for Kovalev, who's caught from behind by Jamison Bain. Back at the point, Betancourt a shot, kicked aside by Yoakum. Rogers circling at the, red, or at the blue line. His shot steered aside. Now Kovalev in the corner. Kovalev will come around to the near side. Has an option at Fancher in the point and gives to him. Eric Fancher, his shot gets blocked wide. Loose puck picked up by Rogers. All Danbury here for the last few minutes. Rogers cycles along Kovalev. Kovalev looking to get around Bain. Goes behind the net. Kovalev, puck on his backhand, now on his forehand. Tries to get the cycle going down low. Intercepted by Holton. Holton will clear it out towards center ice. Now Cooper Betancourt. He'll softly send it back down into the Norwich zone. Danbury in the middle of a change. And so Romita has some time to think things over. Gives a long pass up ahead for Timmy Hayden. Hayden, the former Danbury junior hat-trick, sends the puck down around the roulette table. Fresh off the bench, Tegan Beyer had it for a moment. 
Now Souza knife sat down at the blue line. Shot on, saved by McGibbon. Rebound sent into the corner. Harwell goes back. Hayden at the blue line. Hayden a shot. That goes wide. Loftus has to deal with Bianco. Westendorf sends it into Bianco's skates. Gets sent out towards center ice. And then Byer sends that off the glass behind a ducking assistant coach, Matt Voidy. Faceoff will be out in the neutral zone with 6.59 to go in the first period. Still no score in this game, but the shots on goal have evened up quite a bit. Six to five now the shots, still in Norwich's favor. Here's Bayer on the draw. One back a little too well as Tony Moran has to go down into his own defensive zone to pick it up, giving along the wall for Harwell. Harwell then turns it over and then getting sticked up high is Dylan Walker. He's down in the corner. And that's going to be a penalty against Troy Harwell. 6.48 to go in the first period. And we get to see the special teams for the first time in this game. Coming into this game, Danbury officially has the third best power play in the league. Converting on 39.3% of their power plays. However, they have also given up the second most shorthanded goals in the league so far, surrendering 11 goals on the power play. Meanwhile, the Sea Captains are ranked 26th overall in the 34 team and a 3HL. They kill off 65.2% of their penalties. They do have three shorties so far this season. Kevin Cunningham would like something of an explanation from the referee. Only two minutes up on the board against Harwell, so I imagine that Dylan Walker did not draw blood. I think they want to, I think Danbury wants to try and get Walker back out onto the ice. But because the whistle came from the injury, you figure Walker at least has to start this shift back on his bench. I take back what I said. It looks like Dylan Walker did draw blood as the referee comes on over to the scorer's table. It's going to be a four-minute double minor against Troy Harwell. And with 6.48 to go in the first period, the Norwich Sea Captains have an important task in front of them as they have to try and kill this one off. So face-off to the left of Yoakum, a four-minute power play. For the Danbury Junior Hattricks, here's Nikita Kovalev with a drive, stayed by Yoakum, cleared all the way down by Loftus. McGibbon can't slow it down behind his net. Everybody chasing after it. Cam Holton went behind the net wondering where the puck was. Instead, it's Nick Rogers on a four on two into the Norwich zone. Rogers tries splitting the D, sent in front. Beagle a shot, saved by Yoakum. Up the boards, Essing, or check that, Bayer unable to clear, Loftus following up on the play, gets it as far as the red line. Now here's Nikita Kovalev, turned around at the blue line. Pass back, intended for Deitch, was too far, and so Deitch has to retreat into his own end to pick it up. 45 seconds gone by on the Danbury power play. Passed up ahead, here's Dylan Walker into the zone. Walker tries going between the legs of Loftus, no sale there. Walker. Now in the corner, goes back Deitch at the point. Deitch gives down low. Kovalev gives back Deitch. Deitch a shot from the point, saved by Yoakum. Rebound pops up into midair, ends up on the side of the cage. Beagle comes up with it, gives along for Walker. Walker, top of the circle, gives along for Kovalev. He couldn't handle it cleanly as Nikita Kovalev was looking for the one-timer. Now here's Deitch, giving back for Walker. Look out for that backdoor play again as Deitch is or check that Walker shot. Deflected by Devereaux, saved by Yoakum, and the faceoff will be to Andrew Yoakum's left. 2.39 to go in the Danbury power play. 5.27 to go in the first period. And Andrew Yoakum showing no signs of rust as he's been sharp so far in this game. It's Rodgers on the draw against Bayer. Or check that, that's Essing. Rogers with the face-off win. Now he has the puck on the half wall. Tried sending one towards the front for Felitti. Knocked out of the zone. Brian Essing will chase after it. So McGibbon comes out of his cage. Knocked down by Essing. Essing tries a one-timer on the backhand. You don't hear that phrase too often. There's a reason why. As Nick Rogers gives up ahead for Ivan Kovalev. Ivan Kovalev overskates the puck at the blue line. Cooper Betancourt at the Fairfield County Bank logo at center ice. Now gets the puck back in his own end. Betancourt 
Chased behind the net by Killian Ranger. Given up ahead for Felitti. Intercepted by Ethan Ranger. Ethan Ranger into the zone. One on four. He's got no help with him. Gives along for Daryl Smith, the defenseman, coming into the zone. Smith in the corner looking to kill as much time as he can. He'll take a couple more seconds off the clock with 1.45 to go now on the Danbury power play. Dylan Walker into the zone. Lost possession of the puck. Yoakum gets a glove on it. Face-off will be to his right with 4.27 to go in the first period and 1.39 to go in the double minor against Troy Harwell. Shots on goal flipped a little bit. Danbury now at the 11-6 margin in that category. It'll be Elijah Devereaux on the draw against Ethan Ranger. Off the draw. Here is Nikita Koblev with a shot off the post. Oh, Kovlev went far side, hits the elbow, and it stays out. Now Walker goes back down low for Kovlev. Kovlev in the corner. Watch closely by Hayden. Those two were teammates last year. Hayden. Now Devereaux behind the net. Devereaux sends it into the corner. Back at the point. Kinahan looking to clear. Knocked away. Following up on the play, Romita. He gives it up ahead for Ethan Ranger. Ranger, a long range shot. Punched down by McGibbon. A minute to go on the Danbury power play. Here's Nikita Kovalev rumbling through the neutral zone. Kovalev to the outside. Kovalev in. He scores. Nikita Kovalev. A power play goal. And Danbury leads it one to nothing. For Kovlev, it is his team leading 26th goal of the year. His fifth on the power play as he uh, skated through the neutral zone with speed, was able to beat the Norwich defense to the outside. And then he goes forehand, backhand across the net mouth of Andrew Yoakum, tucks it inside the tucks it inside the post after hitting the post just seconds beforehand. And so the hat tricks. Jump out to a 1-0 lead. Three and a half to go in the first period. Here's Harwell directing along Souza. Souza on goal. Knocked down by McGibbon. Puck pinballing around in front of the net. Sent into the corner. Betancourt up the wall. Here's Loftus keeping it in the zone. Outside the reach of Beagle. Beagle goes behind the net. Cooper Betancourt. Helps it along the wall. Loft is pinching in from the point. Keeps it alive. Now Harwell goes back to the point. And Jamison Bain unable to hold the line. From our angle, it looked like he kept it on the right side of the blue. But we're not the one wearing stripes with the whistle. So the faceoff will come out towards center ice with 3.05 to go in the first period. Waiting on the official call on who picks up the assists on Kovalev's 26th of the year. Now getting word that it's going to be unassisted. So Kovalev unassisted at the 16-19 mark of the first period. Now a long range shot into the glove of Yoakum. He'll hold on. Face off will be to the St. Louis natives left. 2.51 to go in the first period. Five fresh sets of legs on the ice for the Sea Captains for another defensive zone faceoff. Well, sea Captains did a good job early on of keeping Danbury out of their zone. But a four minute power play and the Hattricks getting acclimated to the game as seeing the ice get tilted off to the far side here. Killian Ranger unable to clear behind the net. Doing battle with Moran was Paoletis. Nikita Kovlev has the puck go either off the referee skate or off the Zamboni corner down there. Lost possession, and now up ahead, here's Romita. Matteo Romita into the zone. Bounces off the check from Bryce Wallace. Wallace sends it around the, the wall. Hayden a shot, blocked in front by McGibbon. Killian Ranger tries to set it up on the forehand, poked off his stick, and cleared out of the zone. Hayden gives back for Romita with 2.05 to go in the period. Chasing after this is Jake Harshman. He comes around to the near side for Martin's Leps. The Latvian defenseman unable to clear. Killian Ranger has a puck roll off of his stick. And everybody kind of just looking at it before Ivan Kovlev sends it all the way down the ice. Tony Moran deep in his own end. Sends one hard off the glass. This will actually roll just wide of the cage. And so icing is called 
against the Sea Captains. And the faceoff will come back down into the Norwich zone with 100 seconds even to go in the first period. Not sure what Moran was looking at on that last play. Perhaps he saw the empty net goal that Sidney Crosby scored a few days ago from his own end. Nice little bank shot off the boards into the empty net. And well, when you're Sidney Crosby, you can do things like that. Off the draw, sent out towards the slot. Here's Loftus playing it up the wall. Too far for Essing. Loftus following up on the play. Comes up with possession and gives it up ahead for Jameson Bain. Bain pokes it into the zone. Leps the first one there. Goes behind the net for Deitch. 80 seconds to go in the period. Jacob Deitch flops one up ahead through the neutral zone. Loftus tries going off the wall for Essing. That's cut down by Leps and sent all the way back down. Yoakum. Now Loftus, Leps at the line, Kinahan unable to clear, Devereaux tries going back to Leps down in the corner, Devereaux again has it knocked off his stick, Jack Kinahan unable to clear, Ivan Kovalev doing a good job of sealing things off along the wall, now Kovalev with his stick lifted, Kinahan can't come up with possession of the puck, Devereaux trying to work it up ahead, 45 seconds to go in the period, Ivan Kovalev wanted to split the Norwich D, no sale as Tegan Byer steals it away, Byer unable to clear as Dylan Walker runs into some trouble. Flipped back out of the zone. And now Bryce Wallace at the red line. Gives up ahead for Martins Leps. Into the zone, getting hooked on down to the play was Dylan Walker. No call as Troy Harwell comes back the other way. Harwell kicks the, skate, the puck back up to his stick. Wrapped all the way around the wall. Sacks pinching in from the point. 15 seconds to go in the period. Behind the net. Here's Harwell. Puck up against the back of the cage. Knocked away by Lep. Six seconds to go. Souza in the corner. He's got three seconds left. Two and one. And that's how we end the first period. So at the end of one, it's Danbury one. Norwich nothing for Danbury. Elijah Devereaux. He's joined by Ivan Kovalev and Dominic Pavelaitis. As we are back underway. And Norwich controls off the opening faceoff. Essing. Able to one-hand one into the Danbury end. Elijah Devereaux there to pick it up and take it back the other way. Ivan Kovalev deflects this into the Norwich zone. Hayden tries reversing back along the near side wall. Picked up by Ethan Ranger. And Ranger now trucking ahead through center ice. Lost possession of the puck. Devereaux gives along. Off the stick of Pavelaitis. Pavelaitis in the corner. Cancelled out by Romita. Romita able to force it up the wall. Kinahan looks to get it further. And he gives up a head for Ethan Ranger. Ranger has it knocked off of his stick. Brian Essing at the end of his shift will send it on down deep. Liam McGibbon, who's stopped all nine shots so far in this game that he has seen. Begins the breakout as now it's Martin's Leps. Leps goes D to D across for Eric Fancher. Fancher gets it as far as the Norwich blue line. Now Tim Hayden up ahead. Cut down by Leps at center ice. Stolen right back by Harwell. Trevor Souza, but diving out, Eric Fancher is able to clear it out of the zone. Tim Hayden sends it back down deep. Eric Fancher in the near side corner. Reverses over far side. Souza will chase after this. Nikita Kovalev will get there first. He chips one off the glass. Punched down by Moran. Kovalev able to touch, but not before Harwell got a handle on it. That makes it a hand pass. And the faceoff will come back out of the Danbury zone. 18.33 to go in the second period. Neither team able to record a shot on goal yet in this period. It's Bain, Harwell, and Souza up front. And they'll go up against Rogers, Connor Brown, and Nikita Kovalev. Off the draw. Chipped up ahead by Jake Harshman. Back to retrieve is Tony Moran. The 0-4 defenseman wraps one hard around the wall. Souza wanted to direct it towards the center of the ice. Instead, it goes off of his stick all the way down the ice. No icing on the play. And so Harshman goes off the glass. Moran collects at the red line. He'll fling it back the other way. No icing on the play. And now Cooper Betancourt around to the near side. Looking to clear out, but unable to do so is Dylan Walker. Jamison Bain in the far corner. Get some help from Souza. Souza stick handling in a phone booth. Gives it back for Bain. Bain back Loftus. Loftus on goal. Saved by McGibbon. Rebound comes back out. Morana shot. And that's blocked by Kovalev. 
Nikita Kovalev begins to lead a three on two up ahead. Kovalev trying to get around Moran, cutting towards the front, and then he scores! Nikita Kovalev, his second of the game. And it's two nothing Danbury. <laughs> For Kovalev, it's his 27th goal of the season, his second of the game. I imagine that one is going to be recorded as unassisted as well. As Nikita Kovalev with points 41 and 42 this year. That's 12 more points now than the second guy on their team. That's Danny Khatib with 30 points and not playing today. Knocked up ahead by Antonio Felitti. Felitti beaten to the puck by Sachs. Sachs behind the net. Igorov wanted to send it towards the front. Knocked away. Aiden Bain plays it up the wall. Shot from the point by Leps goes wide. Far side Deitch on goal. Gloved by Yoakum. And he'll hold on. Well, 2.55 to go. Or rather, 2.55 gone by in the second period. Nikita Kovalev. With a pair of goals in this game on the last one, he was able to beat Tony Moran to the outside, and then he cut towards the front of the net and somehow slipped that through the five hole of Andrew Yoakum. Ranger and Felitti on the draw. Ranger wins it into the corner. Still battling for the puck as Seth Beagle tries to free things up. Sent up ahead. Hayden will flip this all the way down the ice. This should be icing. And back to touch up is Cooper Betancourt. Faceoff will come back down into the Norwich zone. Cam Holton giving a bit of a snow shower to Betancourt. And that's going to draw the ire of a couple Danbury defensemen. Holton with a smile on his face will get ready for another defensive zone faceoff. 16.46 to go in the second period and Norwich trails by two. Antonio Felitti on the draw once again. Ethan Ranger. On the draw for Norwich, one back by Felitti. Wilkie Cook chasing after a sent in on goal. It goes off the side of the cage. Oh, Yoakum was screened. Not sure if he saw that shot coming in. Puck pinned against the wall in the far corner. Ranger able to free things up. Wilkie Cook looking to clear. Igorov takes it away from him. Igorov then has it go outside of his reach. Flipped up ahead by Romita. Ranger can't get around Fancher, sent back down into the Norwich zone. Here's Romita playing it off the wall. Felitti keeps it alive at the blue line. Antonio Felitti stick handling behind the net. Puck on his backhand rolls away. Stolen away by Cam Holton. And the North Dakotan will get it out of the zone. Here's Holton running into Fancher in a battle of number fives. Fancher comes up with the puck, stolen away by Romita, who tries swinging one right back into the possession of Holton, knocked away. Danbury's able to clear all the way down the ice. Will this have the legs for icing? It will, as Tim Hayden's back to touch up. And with 4.13 gone by in the second period, faceoff will come back down into the Danbury zone to the left of Liam McGibbon. McGibbon hasn't been tested much in the second period, only one shot on goal for the Sea Captains. They'll look to up that number here as Jamison Bain settles in for a draw against Seth Beagle. Face off one by Bain back at the point. Loftus D to D across from Moran. And Moran will take that offsides call any day of the week as Moran was unable to hold the puck at the blue line. He had three four checkers bearing down on him. His options were either take the offsides whistle or get run over. And well, the offsides whistle was the smart play. So 15.42 to go in the second. Off the draw, this is Brian Essing sending it down deep. McGibbon leaves it on the side of the cage for Bryce Wallace. Wallace tries playing up the near side wall, runs into some trouble. Wallace following up on the play now has the puck in front of the La Quinta sign in front of the neutral zone. We have a delayed call coming up. It's going to go against the hat tricks as this is thrown all the way down the ice. Bryce Wallace touches up. And with 15-17 to go in the second period, we'll get to see the Sea Captains on the power play for the first time in this game. Connor Brown goes to the box. He'll sit two minutes for interference. Sea Captains so far this year are ranked 23rd overall in the league when it comes to power plays. They have converted on 21.1% of their power play opportunities. On the kill, Danbury is ranked 9th in the league. They have... Only surrendered nine 
power play goals so far this year. That is the best number in the league. However, you take a look at, well, you take a look at the totality of the thing. They've only been shorthanded 51 times. Either way, they kill off 82.4% of their penalties. Great opportunity for the Sea Captains to find the back of the net as Moran throws one towards goal, blocked by Fancher. Moran gets the puck again, swings it across for Hayden. Hayden goes down low, Killian Ranger. Ranger wanted to go back to Hayden. That's intercepted, and now here come the hat tricks out the other way. It's Antonio Felitti on a two-on-one. Tries feeding it across for Walker. Felitti now behind the net, run into by Moran. Hayden gives it up ahead for Ethan Ranger. Sea Captains could use a reset here as Ranger forces it up the wall, picks it up from his brother Killian. Ethan Ranger over the Danbury blue line. Has the puck roll off of his stick. Hayden can't keep it alive. Ranger, however, sends down low for Killian. It's wrapped all the way around by Leps and out of the zone. Picked up by Dylan Walker. Walker into the Norwich zone. Poke checked away by Hayden. 55 seconds elapsed off the power play as Tim Hayden begins to break out. Onto the tape of Jack Kinahan. Kinahan with speed into the Danbury zone. Spinorama move in the corner. Doesn't quite work out. Puck pops out. Kinahan a shot. He scores! Jack Kinahan on the power play! And it's two to one. What a shot by Jack Kinahan off the post and in. For Kinahan, it's his seventh goal of the season, his second on the power play. We well, said the power play was an opportunity Nor for Norwich to get back into this, and that's exactly what they did. So a 2 1 game, 14 08 to go in the second period. As McGibbon settles this down behind his own net. Turned over. Here's Souza sending one in front and Harwell just out of his reach. Puck pops all the way up nearly off the ceiling here. Ceiling's about 50 feet above the ice. So well, there was some time for everybody to look around and wonder where the puck was. Meanwhile, Sachs gets wiped out in the neutral zone. And now here's a two-on-one developing for Danbury in front. Rogers stoned by Yoakum. Oh, Rogers tried using his big six foot five frame to outweight Andrew Yoakum and tuck it in. But Yoakum stretching out that leg as far as it can go, slams the door shut. Offsides is called against the Sea Captains. 13 28 to go in the second period, and the faceoff coming up outside of the Danbury zone. Well, officially, they still haven't put. The shot on goal, never mind the goal on the board for the sea captains, I assure you, it's two to one. Looks like the official noticed this as well, so he'll head on over to the scorer's table and make sure that the scoreboard is as accurate as we can make it. Tony Moran will come on by and Try and guide the confused scorekeeper as to what the referee was talking about. There's the goal on the board, and we're back underway. Martin Leps. Long pass, can't complete it with Beagle. Sent out towards center ice. Leps once again. Felitti touches along, and now Leps over the blue line. Martin's Leps sends one in front. They score! Seth Beagle! And the hat tricks respond right back. It's three to one. Well, this has been a problem for Norwich all season long. The inability to hold on to a lead, or rather, just the inability to prevent a goal after scoring one themselves. For Seth Beagle of the Hattricks. It is only his second goal of the season. Both of his goals, or check that, it's his fourth goal of the year. He has scored twice now against the Norwich Sea Captains as Seth Beagle apparently likes these games. So off the draw, here is Harshman. Danbury will control in their own end. Turned over at the blue line. Wallace f following up on the play. Sends it all the way down the ice. No icing. Here's Igorov. In front. Saved by Yoakum. Felitti following up on the play. Had a good opportunity. 
Now Wallace, his shot blocked. Felitti at the blue line, sent in front of Gorov. Can't take the shot, but he's hooked on the play. And with 12.42 to go in the second period, the Danbury Junior Hattricks are going to go on to their third power play of the game. They are one for two so far. Tim Hayden will go to the box for the Sea Captains. Hayden nearly going into the wrong box as, again, he spent two seasons playing in the NA3HL here in Danbury. Played his high school hockey out of this rink as well. So a visit to the visitor's penalty box for Tim Hayden is a rarity. 12.42 to go in the second period. Three to one year score, Danbury with the lead. Officially on the goals so far this period, Kovalev, his second of the game, will pick up an assist from Nick Rogers. Not sure how as Kovalev blocked a shot and then took it all the way down the ice. For the Sea Captains, Jack Kinahan, his seventh of the year, assisted by Brian Essing and Ethan Ranger, also on the power play. Here is Deitch for Devereaux. Given along the key to Kovlev, already working on two. Kovlev, top of the circle, sends one that goes through the edge of the crease and wide. Tegan Beyer looking to clear. Now Walker for Danbury, sends it down into the near side corner. Daryl Smith bumped off by Beagle, picked up by Walker. Walker has an option in Deitch and gives to him. Jacob Deitch goes to the bumper position. Devereaux is shot off the shoulder of Yoakum. Puck loose on the side of the cage. Yoakum had it under his glove. Nikita Kovalev came by trying to steal it away, but the referee blows the whistle. And the faceoff will remain in the Norwich zone to Yoakum's left. Norwich. 38 seconds gone by in Danbury's third power play. Second unit of Felidi, Ivan Kovalev, and Nick Rogers up front. Betancourt and Leps on the point. For the Sea Captains, it will be Jamison Bain and Trevor Souza, Tony Moran, and Matteo Romita. It's essentially four defensemen on the ice for the Sea Captains. Jamison Bain converted to a, fo to a forward this year. Has played some games on the Norwich Blue Line. Trevor Souza, a forward, has also been pressed into action on the defensive side of things as well. Souza is able to send it all the way down. Now Danbury has under a minute to go on the power play. 55 seconds to be exact as Cooper Betancourt plays up ahead for Martin Leps. Leps goes far side off the stick of Felitti. Felitti. Stopping in the corner, goes back up to the point. Rogers now walking on in, gives down low. Ivan Kovlev spins away from the defense of Moran. Kovlev for Rogers. Rogers goes back up at the point. Betancourt, his shot saved by Yoakum. Rogers picks up the loose puck as he allows the puck just to roll over to his stick. Rogers gives down low. Ivan Kovalev. Kovalev twists back. Rogers. Rogers, a shot hit the post. Oh, he beat Yoakum to the glove side, but he's stymied by the iron. Now Martin Leps at the point. Leps sends one through the slot. Kovlev touches back Rodgers, and now Betancourt top of the umbrella. Giving back Rodgers. Rodgers throws near side Leps. Two seconds and one penalty has expired. We're back to even strength hockey. Here's Jamison Bain chasing after the puck. Felitti will get there first. Felitti then gets dumped down to the ice by Tim Hayden. Now Cooper Betancourt. From a bad angle, punched down by Yoakum. Souza will pick it up. Trevor Souza throws up ahead. And now it's Troy Harwell by himself. Harwell knocked off his stick. Dylan Walker comes on by with speed. Walker cuts across the slot. Off the post. It does not go in. Thrown down the ice. The goal horn goes off. And will the referees discuss this? As that did not look like it crossed the goal line. At least from our angle, it looked like it went off the crossbar and out. And we'll see if the officials huddle up to talk about it. It seems like they will not. So a 10-10 to go in the second period. It's now a 4-1 game. Dylan Walker with the goal. For Walker, it's his 10th of the year in only his 14th game. And the Hattricks, with three goals in this period, are starting to pull away. It's Devereaux. 
Walker, centering feed intercepted by Essing. Essing tries chipping up ahead. Knife down by Kinahan. Onside play into the zone. Leps from his knees. One hands, one behind the net. Given along for Devereaux. Thrown far side. Norwich defense in disarray as it's a three on two into the zone. Leps can't quite drop it on back for Walker. Now Walker gives along for Deitch. Deitch goes down low. Loft is the first one there. Knocked off his stick. Nikita Kovalev will pick it up. Kovalev behind the net. Knocked away by, by Loftus. Given across. One time shot, but getting the top of the puck was Dylan Walker. Now Harshman leaves it for Nikita Kovalev. Harshman again. Here is Bayer giving back for Loftus. Officially at Walker's 10th of the year is unassisted. Here's Felidi. His shot. Sent wide of the cage. Kinahan lost his stick on the play. Another shot on. Blockered on down by Yoakum. Where's the puck? It's loose on the edge of the crease. Harshman a shot blocked by Smith. Daryl Smith looking to clear. Instead goes behind the net. Loftus helps it around the roulette wheel to the near side. Cut down by Wallace. Wallace's shot stopped by Yoakum. Daryl Smith plays it up the wall. This time Beagle unable to hold it. Wallace turning in the neutral zone. He breaks right back into the C-cap zone. Wallace... Around to the far side. Daryl Smith, Brian Essing in there as well for the Sea Captains. Felidi trying to get it out of the scrum, which now has five players in it. Essing on his knees, able to choke up on the stick, flip it off the glass, not out of the zone. All hat tricks the last few minutes. Loftus up ahead, and now Brian Essing. He'll gain the red line and send it down deep. That allows Norwich to get all five players changed. Bryce Wallace, the captain of Danbury, plays it up ahead. Trying to gain speed through center ice is Seth Beagle. Beagle gets it into the zone. Romita, the first one there. He sends around far side. Killian Ranger plays off the boards. Hayden didn't know it was coming back his way. Now Hayden hits the Jets. Swinging on down was Cooper Betancourt. He throws it all the way down the ice. Icing is called. Danbury able to get a couple players changed. So the referee will come on over and clear them back onto the ice. Antonio Felitti, at least, is going to stay on the bench. So Danbury gets away with one. Base off will be to Liam McGibbon's right. 7.32 to go in the second period. Three goals scored by Danbury in this period. Goals coming from Nikita Kovalev, Seth Beagle, and Dylan Walker. And the Seth Beagle goal came exactly 40 seconds after Jack Kinahan had made this 2-1. Nikita Kovalev again flips down deep. Romita in the corner. Aiden Bain gives back for Romita. And now Matteo Romita, the Ontarian defenseman, will dump it down into the Danbury zone. First one there is Eric Fancher. Fancher reverses back for Nikita Kovalev. Aiden Bain looking to come up with possession. Instead, it's Cooper Betancourt keeping himself. Betancourt, his shot, saved by Yoakum in and out of his glove. Nikita Kovalev, now Westendor from the blue line. In front, they score! Dominic Pavelaitis, his first as a Danbury Jr. hat trick, and it's 5-1. to one. As mentioned for Paolaitis, it is his first goal in the NA3HL. It's his first goal as a Danbury Jr. hat trick. Congratulations to him. Four goals by the hat tricks in this period. And they lead it five to one. With the four goals in the second period, that is a new season high for the Danbury Jr. hat tricks. And they have scored three goals in the second period on four separate occasions every single time against the New Jersey Titans. Right now with four in the second, they lead it five to one. And the Sea Captains, if they want to get back into this, will have to convert on this upcoming power play as Wesley Westendorf is going to sit two minutes for boarding as he came up from a bad angle on the Norwich defender. So Westendorf, who is one of the key penalty killers 
for Danbury Jr. hat tricks. We'll have to watch the next two minutes from the box. Ethan and Killian Ranger up front alongside Jamison Bain, Tony Moran, Tim Hayden on the blue line as these guys need to get a goal and try and stop Danbury's momentum. Off the draw, Hayden just barely able to keep it in the zone on the second attempt. Danbury's able to clear as Jacob Deitch sends it all the way down. Yoakum around the boards and now Hayden. Timmy Hayden retreats back south of his own goal line. Gives along for Tony Moran. Moran for Ethan Ranger. Ranger under some pressure as Dylan Walker was hanging out at the Norwich Blue Line. Now Ranger again. Up ahead for Killian Ranger. Moran unable to hold on to it. Here's Hayden in the neutral zone. He'll send it on down. Chased after by Killian Ranger. He gets there first. Absorbs the hit from Deitch. In the corner. Picked up by, by Essing. He swings down low. Ethan Ranger. Ranger in front. That goes off the stick of McGibbon. And McGibbon then has to hop on down in his crease to hold on. 108 to go in the Norwich power play. They're one for one so far with the man advantage. 541 to go in the second period. And folks, be sure to hang out between the second and the third period as I'll have the voice of the Hattricks, Josh Starr, on for a couple minutes. Talk some hockey, talk some Danbury. We'll see what else we can cover during the intermission. Here is Souza going back to Romita. Now Souza again at the blue line. Trevor Souza, nice little move, gives himself some space. Now drops back Harwell, giving back Souza. Souza looking to tee up a shot. Takes the shot, but standing up to it was Betancourt. Now Souza again with 40 seconds to go on the power play. Goes back Romita at the point. Romita on goal, deflected in, they score! A second power play goal for the Sea Captains, and it's 5-2. Brian Essing was in front of the net. So was Jack Kinahan. I think it's going to be Essing's goal. If so, that's his second point of the game. And his fourth of the season. We'll have to await the official call, but Danbury, or check that, Norwich once again able to convert on the power play. And they're not out of it yet. Off the ensuing face-off. Five minutes to go in the second period. Norwich trails by three. Rogers up ahead through center ice. Dishes along. A long-range shot. Fluttered into the chest of Andrew Yoakum. He'll hold on. Face-off coming up to Yoakum's left with 4.50 to go in the second period. Still waiting the official word on... The Norwich goal, now we're getting it. It's going to be Brian, Brian Essing's goal, his fourth of the year. They're going to call it unassisted. How you have an unassisted goal when you deflect a shot from the point, I'm not sure. I imagine that'll get worked out at some point during the intermission. Faceoff's going to remain in the Norwich zone. As it'll be Rodgers up against Jamison Bain. Bit of a size disparity there as Baines five foot ten. Nick Rogers six foot five. As the public address announcer says over the speakers here, for Essing, it is his fourth of the year. Matteo Romita picks up the assist. Shot on Moran with a block. Another shot to flex off the stick of Hayden wide. Looking to clear out is Moran. Nice little sonk behind the net. And now along for Jamison Bain. Played along Killian Ranger. Dumped all the way down. Should be noted that for Romita, that is his first point in the NA3HL. Congratulations to him. I imagine the sea captains, if they don't already have their hands on the puck, will get it quickly. That'll be a nice little thing at practice this week as this goes all the way down the ice. Icing called against the Sea Captains. And so with 3.49 to go in the second period, face-off is going to come back down into the Norwich zone. 
Norwich with only four skaters on the ice. Here comes Aiden Bain. Face off will be to McGibbon's right. Elijah Devereaux, Ivan Kovlev, Dylan Walker up front for Danbury. Ethan Ranger, Aiden Bain, and Wilkie Cook up front for the Sea Captains. Off the draw, one by Devereaux. Walker goes behind the net. Ivan Kovlev leaves it along for, Wa for Walker. Shot from the point, fought off by Yoakum. Bain looking to clear, fans on the clearance. Devereaux chips down low for Kovalev. Kovalev goes back to the point. Here's Leps with a shot. That goes wide. Walker picks up the loose puck. Now Aiden Bain. Devereaux keeps it alive. Devereaux overskates it. Ivan Kovalev follows up on the play. Dishes down low. Devereaux. Devereaux wants to go back to the point. Has Deitch and gives to him. Jacob Deitch, top of the umbrella, gives along Martin's left. Left stepping on in, hits the post with a shot. That's the third or fourth post that Danbury's hit today. Sent back down. Ivan Kovalev with under three to play in the period. Kovalev walking in from the half, all his shot blocked by Smith. Wilkie Cook unable to clear as Deitch pinches in. Now Deitch walking along the goal line behind the net. Poked away from him by Hayden. Hayden in the corner. And Deitch, pair of defensemen battling it out. Daryl Smith gives a bump to the back of Walker. Walker comes up with the puck, goes back to Leps at the point. Leps shot blocked by Smith. Daryl Smith in the corner. Bounces off of Walker, takes a, a couple hard cross checks to his back. And that's going to be a penalty. Dylan Walker going to the box for Danbury. And with 2.23 to go in the second period, the Sea Captains will go back onto the power play for the third time in this game. They are two for two so far. As Walker was giving Daryl Smith the business to his lower back in the corner and the official in the right position to make that call. So the face off is going to be to the left of McGibbon. It's going to be Brian Essing, Jack Kinahan, Trevor Souza up front, Romita and Harwell on the points for the Sea Captains. Nikita Kovalev on the draw for Danbury. He's got two goals already in this game. He wins the faceoff. Betancourt tries going up the wall. Harwell keeps it alive. Now Souza goes back to where Harwell was. Puck comes back out towards center ice. Romita at the red line. Under pressure from Kovalev. Felidi following up on the play as well. Romita can't get around Felidi. Felidi from the blue line. Caught from behind by Romita. Danbury bench wants a penalty. There's none coming. 30 seconds already gone by on the power play as Harwell breaks back into the zone. Gives back Romita. Romita gets around one. Gets around two. Gives back Harwell. Harwell back for Romita. Romita dishes down low. Now Souza circling on out, fakes the pass, gives back Harwell, top of the umbrella. Now low, Bromita, back for Souza, across ice. Souza slid towards the front of the net, that's blocked. Puck bounces around, it's on top of the cage, and that's going to draw the whistle from the official. As you saw a couple Norwich players trying to play the puck off the top of the cage. It's a nice idea in theory, only problem is if you touch the puck, well, by definition, here above the crossbar, so. Faceoff is going to remain in the Danbury zone. Head coach Kevin Cunningham would like to discuss something with the officials. The whistle might have actually come from the fact that the puck ended up on top of the net. Usually the officials will have a quick whistle, uh, will have a quick blow of the whistle when that happens. Uh, the faceoff will be to Liam McGibbon's left. Official now heading on over to the scorer's table. Perhaps some time was taken off of the clock. We've seen it happen a few times in this game where the clock has continued to run after the whistle's blown. Ethan Ranger on the draw for the Sea Captains. We'll keep our eyes on the clock. Not sure if they'll actually change anything, but they will hold it. As we're back underway, here's Moran at the blue line. Keeps it in the zone. Offsides is called against the Sea Captains. Clock did not run during that play. So still 1.17 to go in the second and 54 seconds to go on the Norwich power play. 
It's almost like nothing happened, except, you know, the face-off's back out at center ice now. So Ethan Ranger on this draw. Loose puck, Killian Ranger gives for Hayden. And now Jameson Bain from the red line. He'll chip it down deep. McGibbon comes out, leaves a puck for Deitch behind the cage. This is flipped off the glass and out in towards center ice. Moran and Hayden play catch. 35 seconds to go with under a minute to play in the second period. Here's Hayden at the red line. Norwich needs to turn up ice. 28 seconds to go on the power play. Jameson Bain working in the near side corner. Centering feed intercepted and cleared all the way down by Betancourt. Yoakum will leave it aside for Moran. Moran plays it into an empty area. 12 seconds left on the power play. Time for one last rush. Here's Tegan Beyer. Dumped down at the blue line. Still got it along for Hayden who rips a shot wide. Moran at the red line. Gives back Beyer. Fire directs it into the zone. We're back to even strength hockey with 20 seconds to go. Centering feed by Beyer, intercepted by Deitch. And now Jacob Deitch chips up ahead. Beagle sent in on goal, saved by Yoakum. Beagle again, near side corner, five seconds to go in the period. Beyer is able to clear. He'll chase after us. He can't get to the puck in time. And so that's how we end the second period with the Danbury Junior hat tricks holding on to a 5-2 to two lead. As one of the fans came on by, but getting back to the second period scoring summary, at the 224 mark, it was Nikita Kovalev, his second of the game, 27th of the year, assisted by Nick Rogers. At 552, Jack Kinahan put Norwich on the board, a power play goal, his seventh of the year, assisted by Brian Essing and Ethan Ranger. 40 seconds after that, Seth Beagle responds right back for the hat tricks. His sixth of the year, assisted by Martin's Leps. At 9.50, Dylan Walker, his 10th of the year on a controversial goal off the crossbar. Martin Leps picks up the assist there as well. Shot on, McGibbon sends it into the corner. At the 13.15 mark of the second period, Dominic Pavaletis, his first of the year, assisted by Wesley Westendorf and Nikita Kovalev. And then at 14.52, Brian Essing deflecting a Matteo, a Matteo Romita shot from the point. A power play goal made it 5-2. And now 17 seconds into the third period. Tim Hayden goes back to the box for the second time in this game. Tripping is the call. And Danbury will go back onto the power play. Hat tricks are one for three on the man advantage so far. They'll begin with Devereaux up front with Beagle and Rogers on the points. Kovalev and Deitch. This is Deitch with the puck. Goes back to Rogers. They'll play catch on the near side wall. Now Rogers top of the umbrella. Winds and fires blocked in front and out of the zone. Rogers for Deitch. Played up ahead. Norwich had to touch up. Cam Holton now chasing after Rogers, who behind the red line sends it all the way down. No icing on the play. So Yoakum steers it around to the near side corner. Picked up by Devereaux. Devereaux walks around Byer, gets around Holton. Sent in front, and Beagle sends it wide. Moran off the glass. Kept alive by Kovalev. Nikita Kovalev, top of the circle. Now down low into the corner. Takes a two-hander to the stick. Courtesy of Loftus, play continues. Rogers a one-time shot, getting in the way of that Moran. Tony Moran unable to clear. Rogers goes back Deitch. Deitch back for Rogers across Kovalev. Nikita Kovalev a shot missed high and wide and it goes all the way out. Chasing after this is Tegan Beyer. Beyer gets to the puck first but it's quickly knocked away by Jacob Deitch. Deitch wanted to reverse for Devereaux. Sent in front Killian Ranger shorthanded saved by McGibbons. Killian Ranger swings it back far side. Couple shorthanded opportunities for the sea captains. As Killian Ranger has a stick knocked out of his hands, he'll go back to pick up that piece of twig as in the neutral zone. It's Devereaux run into by Romita. Romita able to force it out towards center ice. Devereaux again goes back for Leps. Martin Leps with a pair of assists in this game. Given up ahead, Igorov. Igorov goes back, Devereaux. Devereaux, top of the circle. Walking down low, flings one towards the front of the net. No sale there. Now Ivan Kovalev. Watch closely by Romita. Two seconds and one. We're back to five on five hockey. As out of the box comes Hayden. 
Betancourt poked it back down low. Now Felitti. Knocked away by Killian Ranger, who's having himself a very solid shift. Felitti, backhand shot saved by Yoakum. Rebound comes all the way back out to the point. Martins leps with it. Leps a shot and getting a toe on it is Yoakum. Romita flings it out far side. Norwich in the middle of a change as Martins leps. Gets back into the sea captain's zone. Leps caught from behind. Cleared on out by Hayden. Felitti bent over the boards as Hayden was going for a change, flung around. Ethan Ranger has it knocked off of his stick. Bryce Wallace then takes Moran down to the ice. Sean Loftus able to pick it up. He goes off the boards for Aiden Bain. Now Loftus picks it up once again. Sean Loftus over the blue line. His shot gets blocked. Jack Kinahan a centering feed. Getting hooked on the play was Aiden Bain. He couldn't take the shot. Igorov looking to clear. Knocked down by Ethan Ranger. Now Harshman around the net. Bryce Wallace played up ahead for Hickey. Delayed call coming up. It's going to go against the sea captains. Aiden Bain will sit two minutes for boarding. And if the sea captains want to come back into this game, first thing they need to accomplish is staying out of the box. That's their second penalty this period. So Danbury to the power play once again, their fifth opportunity of the game. They're one for four so far. And they'll begin with the second unit of Devereaux, Walker, and Ivan Kovalev up front. Deitch and Nikita Kovalev on the blue line. Off the draw, here's Ivan in the corner. Knocked away by Romita. Wait, Matteo Romita. Seems like he's out there every other shift for the sea captains in this game. He could very well have over 25 minutes played by the end of this. Devereaux gives, or check that, Walker back for Deitch. Now Walker again. Walker tries spinning his way around Romita. Walker again. Danbury doesn't need any more goals, so just simply maintaining possession, trying to kill off more of this clock isn't a half bad idea. Walker gives back Deitch, touched along further. Devereaux gives back Deitch. Deitch stepping in. Now Devereaux for Walker in the slot. Walker takes a little too much time to pull the trigger. Deitch again. This time he'll take the shot himself. It goes wide. Nikita Kovalev knocked off his stick by Tegan. Byer, Byer's able to get it out of the zone. Deitch quickly takes it back the other way. Norwich able to complete a partial change. Meanwhile, here's Kovalev. Shot blocked by Loftus. Now Walker swings it down low. Felitti behind the net. For Danbury. Sent into the corner. Nikita Kovalev goes hard around to the near side wall. Too far for Devereaux. Kept alive by Leps at the blue line. Now Devereaux on the half wall. Slides down to the corner. Goes behind the net for Felitti. Devereaux again. 35 seconds to go on the power play. Loftus and Devereaux in the corner. Coming in to help out Jamison Bain. Goes behind the net for Loftus. Loftus sends it along further. Not out of the zone. Trevor Souza unable to clear. But following up and finally able to get it over the blue line was Romita. Now Devereaux again. Turns away from the blue line. And again, the hat tricks just holding on to possession of the puck. Up by three. They've already killed off the first five and a half minutes of the third period. Here's Nick Rogers with two seconds and one remaining on the power play. Jameson Bain swings it back on down. Penalty is expired. And we're back to five-a-side hockey once again. Betancourt. Goes back behind the net. Martins Leps. Ethan Ranger out of the zone. Kinahan sends it back in. McGibbon behind his own net. Leaves it for Devereaux. Or check that, that's Betancourt. Now Beagle played off the wall. Out towards center ice. Moran D to D across for Smith. Seth Beagle over the blue line. Finds Felitti. Felitti is shot off the crossbar and out of play. How many times in this game are the Danbury Hattricks going to ring iron? Oh, if you're a fan of Norwich, you hope many, many more as long as they don't cross the line. 13.53 to go in regulation time. Sea Captains trail by three. It's 5-2. to two. Elijah Devereaux on the draw. He'll go up against Tegan Beyer. Beyer with a clean win back. No defenseman there to pick up the loose puck. And so Danbury controls. Here's Harshman across Wallace. Wallace a shot, saved by Oakham. 
Devereaux wants to go back to Wallace at the point. Instead, Walker will come by. He still gives to Wallace. Down low. Pass towards the slot. Poked away by Essing. Not out of the zone. Ivan Kovalev. Run into by Hayden. Now Walker. Devereaux. Back to Harshman. D to D across Wallace. Wallace, a rising shot goes over the top of the cage. Loose puck picked up. And now here's Brian Essing taking it out of the zone. Essing, top of the circle. His shot kicked aside by McGibbon. Cam Holton trying to get it further into the Danbury zone. Instead, the puck squirts back out towards center ice. Matteo Romita, no surprise that he's out there because, well, the game's going on right now. Now Devereaux. Back into the Norwich zone. Taken away by Wilkie Cook. Cook. Nice pass up ahead for Holton. Can't quite connect with him. McGibbon knocks it away. Holton's still in pursuit. Pavelaitis will send it down the ice. Daryl Smith chasing after this. Gets to it just as the puck crosses the goal line. Whistle is blown for the icing. And with 12.40 to go in regulation time, the faceoff will come back down into the hat trick zone. Seems like the shots on goal have not been updated for the third period as it still reads 27 to 17 in favor of Danbury. That's exactly what it was seven minutes and 20 seconds ago. So something tells me we'll have to get that information later on. Off the draw. Here is Deitch. Jacob Deitch working it up ahead. From the neutral zone, he'll chip it down deep over the stick of Yoakum. Smith gets bumped by Paolaitis. At the red line, Jamison Bain forced off. Norwich's bench wanted an interference call. There's none coming. Here come the hat tricks back into his own. A shot saved by Yoakum. And he holds on as Martin Leps, already with a pair of helpers in this game, wanted to get into the goal column. Faceoff will be to Yoakum's right. Stepping in for the faceoff is Ethan Ranger. He goes up against Nick Rogers. Norwich with three defenders in the slot. So if Ranger wins this puck back, it's going to be Tim Hayden's responsibility on the sidewall to curl down and get the breakout going. Off the draw, it's Hayden on the half wall. Can't get it out. Wallace, and now Nikita Kovalev sends it down low. Behind the net, Pavelaitis. Pavelaitis and Moran pinned up against the wall. Reinforcements arrive for both teams. Puck is still up against that kick plate. Rogers poking at it, as is Sean Loftus. Or check that, that was Ranger. Now Harwell. Goes back behind Moran. Moran, nifty little move. Gives himself a little space. Tries playing along for Souza. Trevor Souza gets around Rogers. Touches along for Ranger. Ranger over the blue line. He'll send it softly down. Wallace the first one there. His outlet knocked down by Souza. Now Ethan Ranger behind the net. He's crunched up against the wall by Harshman. Hayden from the point. Shot goes wide. Nikita Kovalev. Just chips it out towards the red line. Romita, the first one there, reverses back for Souza. Souza plays off the glass. Ranger tries to get it into the zone, stolen away by Antonio Felitti. Felitti gets taken out by the red line monster. Still managed to direct the puck up ahead. Harwell, however, picks up the loose puck, touches it along for Souza. Trevor Souza into the zone, gives along Ranger. Ranger is shot, blocked by Kovalev. Turning away from pressure is Martin's Leps. He goes over far side for Deitch. Deitch from the red line. Sends one in down deep off the 94.1 advertisement in the corner. One of the newer advertisements around the Danbury Arena. You can tell based off of their puck marks. Here's the Killian Ranger at the red line. He'll send it down deep and chase after it himself. 10.23 to go in regulation time. Norwich needs three to tie. Daryl Smith. At the red line, hard off the glass, back down into the Danbury zone. McGibbon plays it along behind the net for Deitch. Now Beyer 
Pushed by Beagle. Puck still located in the corner. Byer comes up with it. Byer, a shot off the shaft of the stick of McGibbon. Loose puck. Felitti run into by Byer. Lost possession. Daryl Smith back at his own blue line. Gives long Romita, further along Bayer. Bayer plays it off the boards, looking for himself, diving out as he wanted to send it across for Killian Ranger, who was cutting through the slot. Beagle, big hit, getting the worst of that was Felitti. And now Seth Beagle drops his gloves at center ice. What the hell, oh my goodness. He grabs a face full of mask of Aiden Bain. Oh my. Oh, that should be a clear ejection for Seth Beagle. As he challenged Aiden Bain to a fight, Baden, Bain wears a full face mask. So you're not going to see Aiden Bain drop the gloves. And so Seth Beagle looking to get something going with his glove already off. Just grabs Aiden Bain by the face mask and rips him down to the ice. I don't see any scenario where that's not a five minute major and a game misconduct. But we'll allow the officials to figure it out. Aiden Bain looks like he's going to head to the penalty box as well. Not sure what the penalty would be against him. It was Bain who knocked down Felitti with a clean hit in the Danbury zone. That's what Seth Beagle took exception to. Now Loftus on the edge of the referee circle. Having a discussion with Jacob Deitch. I'm not sure if Deitch is even listed as a captain for Danbury. He is not. So Deitch has no reason to be involved there. And now a linesman has to separate those two players. Seth Beagle is being shown the door. He has been ejected from this game. We'll have to wait for what the official penalties are, but again, the most egregious face mask that you'll ever see in the sport of hockey. And I imagine that play will be reviewed after the conclusion of this game. Still more jawing between the benches. There's a linesman now standing between the two benches. Five minutes up on the board against Beagle. Now the question is, what will the penalty be against Aiden Bain? No time has gone up on the board, or rather on the Norwich side of the scoreboard. Bryce Wallace. Sean Loftus and Tim Hayden trying to be the peacemakers on the far side of the ice. Seth Beagle has not gone back to the Danbury locker room. Not sure where the camera's pointing, but he is behind, or rather, off the ice. And still jawing from behind the glass. Head trainer of the Danbury Hattricks, Amy Schneider, will come on over as perhaps Beagle was waiting for some medical attention. So 9.32 to go in the third period. And it looks like the Norwich Sea Captains are going to embark on a five-minute major power play, trailing by three in this game. Bain remains in the box for the Sea Captains. So perhaps something along the lines of a two-minute coincidental. Danbury needs to put somebody into the box to cover the penalty for uh, that's been assessed against Seth Beagle. Now, to be fair, Danbury does not have to put a player in the box immediately. This was one of the rule changes from a few years ago in the NHL. It's filtered on down to the junior level. Giuseppe Bianco is going to cut off this line of questioning and serve the five, the full five minutes. But when you have a major penalty, 
You don't have, and you know, the player gets kicked out of the game. You don't need to immediately send somebody over to the box to serve the penalty. You can put somebody into the box to serve the remainder of the penalty after a whistle. However, and here's the dangerous part. Oh my, hit up high was Jack Kinahan by Jacob Deitch. As Deitch still angry after the last play, taking out a little physical frustration. Here's Romita on the power play. Harwell goes down low. Souza gives back Romita. Romita a shot saved by McGibbon, and he'll hold on. So finishing up the thought on putting somebody into the box. If you don't have somebody in the penalty box and that major penalty expires, you are not allowed to replace the player on the ice until the next whistle. It's a very rare situation. We've seen it, as far as I can remember, exactly once in the NHL. And this was at least 10 years ago when John Tortorella was still the head coach of the New York Rangers, where Tortorella elected not to have somebody in the box. And then, well, a minute into the major power play, after that face-off, there was not another whistle before the power play expired and the Rangers continued to play shorthanded until the whistle was finally blown. All that aside, we've only had 16 seconds taken off the clock on this major power play. 9.16 to go in the thirds. Remember, with a major power play, the sea captains, if they score, will remain with the man advantage. Here's Antonio Felitti, sent down low. Bryce Wallace tripped up behind the net. Killian Ranger comes up with the puck. He has to deal with the defense of Harshman. Harshman and Ranger still going at it. Meanwhile, Ethan Ranger came on by, tried going back to Hayden at the point, knocked away by Nikita Kovalev. Tony Moran now over the blue line. Moran knocked down in the corner. Kovalev there to pick it up, and he'll send it all the way down the ice. Here is Tim Hayden, public address announcer. Just now, coming out with the penalties. Looks as though Beagle is going to receive a two-minute instigator penalty. As this doesn't quite make sense. Right now, they've got an instigator up for Beagle. They've got a two-minute roughing up against Aiden Bain. So, no word on what the five-minute major is it should be a face mask which also automatically includes a game misconduct as does the instigator so meanwhile a shot by ranger from point is blocked by nick rogers rogers short-handed in alone sends it off the side of the cage 325 to go in the norwich power play here's tim hayden chipping one up ahead where it's picked up by Harwell. Troy Harwell canceled out in the neutral zone and the puck is thrown all the way down by cooper betancourt now Romita, behind his own net. Matteo Romita slowly begins to break out. Steered towards the near side wall by Devro, knocked down. Harwell tries going across ice for Souza. Souza eventually picks it up, fell down on the play and had Nick Rogers hop down on top of him. Now Rogers from a bad angle shoots it out of play. Faceoff will remain in the Norwich zone. As the clock is still running, 7.10 to go in the third and counting, apparently. Clock is still running. Now they finally stop it. And now we'll have to figure this out once again. As a good 10 seconds came off the clock. Right now the clock reads 7.04 to go in regulation time and 2.32 to go in the Norwich power play. I imagine they will hold it once again. Now finally we get the rest of the penalties. Beagle does receive a five minute major for a face, for a face mask and a game misconduct. So, oh, and as we say that, the instigator penalty gets taken off. So, oh, that was a strange one. Because if Aiden Bain was in the box for Norwich, he's out now. But if Bain was in the box for the Sea Captains, then by necessity there needed to be there must be another two-minute penalty against Beagle. Otherwise, we would have skated four on four 
for a full two minutes, and then Norwich would have had an abbreviated three-minute man three minute power play. Either way, there's 2.20 to go on the power play right now as Killian Ranger tries sending it behind the net. Wrapped around the boards by Leps onto the stick of Hayden. Hayden, a shot blocked by Leps in the high slot. Martins Leps unable to clear. Here's Moran. Gives across Ranger. Ranger has a stick lifted from behind. Solid defensive play by Dylan Walker. He's unable to clear. Knocked down by Jamison Bain. Not a high stick, and so play continues in the corner. Ethan Ranger picks up some help from his brother Killian. Killian trying to come up with possession of the puck. Hayden's able to poke it along. Ethan Ranger, a turnaround shot blocked by Deitch. At the blue line, Harwell keeps it alive. Troy Harwell now by himself, one on three in the zone. Harwell still circling right underneath us. Ranger just throws it back to the point. Tegan Beyer was still coming off of the bench and then Cam Holton comes into the zone off sides. And so the faceoff will come outside the Danbury end with 6.03 to go in the third period and a minute 31 to go in the Norwich power play. Well, frustrating turn of events for the uh, sea captains as a major power play is a rare opportunity. And unfortunately for the sea captains, they have not been able to really get anything going on a power play that they've already been successful on in this game. Two for three coming into this one. Here's Tegan Beyer sending it down deep. Cam Holton behind the net. Now circles out to the near side. Holton a shot. That goes off his teammate Beyer in front. Holton again tries stuffing it on the short side. Nikita Kovlev knocks it away. And Bryce Wallace sends this all the way down. Actually on goal on the bank shot. And so with a minute to go on the power play, it's Troy Harwell. Holton will swing on by as Harwell begins the breakout. Up ahead for Tegan Beyer. Beyer slid along Romita. Matteo Romita into the zone. Now looking for an option in the slot. His pass knocked away and cleared all the way down by Kovalev. 40 seconds to go. Sea captains can't even get out of their own zone right now. Troy Harwell will start up once again. Harwell. On to the tape of Tegan Beyer. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Beyer tries threading one up ahead. Romita can't get a handle on it. Now Romita goes back to Harwell at the point outside of his reach. Nine seconds to go on the power play. Harwell back to retrieve in his own end. Chips one off the boards. Danbury will control. Two seconds and one. And Giuseppe Bianco is released from the penalty box. The, the hat tricks kill off a five-minute major power play. And they really limited Norwich's shots and offensive zone time during that interim. Here is Souza trying to stick handle around everybody. Got around a couple. Now Eric Fancher. Having to deal with the four check of Bain. Fancher able to work it up ahead. Hatrix flip it down the ice. Chasing after this is Bianco. First shift that we've seen Gio Bianco take in a little while. Ivan Kovalev. Could not hold the puck in the zone. And now Sean Loftus with under four minutes to play in regulation. Loftus sends this one down deep. McGibbon slows it down in the corner. Leps thrown back down into the Norwich zone. This won't have enough for icing. And so Loftus swings it across D to D for Ethan Ranger. Ranger having to deal with a bouncing puck. Ranger lost possession of the puck. Given across. Kovalev a shot. Shoulder to side by Yoakum. Harshman. In the near side corner. Or check that. That's Devereaux. Picks up some help. Now Deitch at the point. D to D across. Leps a shot. Saved by Yoakum. And he'll hold on. 3.13 to go in the third period. And the Danbury Jr. hat tricks up by three. So face off coming up to the right of Andrew Yoakum. Yoakum with 30 saves so far in this game. As he sees this puck come out from behind the net. We have a whistle. We have a penalty coming up against the Sea Captains. It's going to be a high sticking call against Aiden Bain. As getting caught up high was Elijah Devereaux. Devereaux 
Comes back up to his feet. Looks like it's only going to be a two minute minor against Bain. But trailing by three with 3.03 to go. That might be the dagger in Norwich's hopes of getting back into this game. Looks like the face off will be to the right of Yoakum. Danbury goes back onto the power play once again. Nikita Kovalev already has a power play goal in this game. So off the draw, it will be Nick Rogers. He goes up against Tegan Beyer. Off the draw, one back. Betancourt with the puck again. Watch closely by Beyer. Getting sent down to the ice was Felitti. Everybody falling over each other. Rogers on the half wall. Tries spinning back from Moran. Rogers again. Holton. And finally, Danbury comes up with possession. Here's Leps. Touched along. Rogers a drive. Fearlessly getting in front of that was Tony Moran. Two and a half to go in the third. Sharp angle attempt saved by Yoakum. And then some pushing and shoving afterwards as Tony Moran gets knocked down from behind. And that's going to be a penalty. And is that going to be an ejection for Antonio Felitti? It looks so. Well, the referee pointed towards the Danbury locker room door. Felitti finds his way into the penalty box. So he'll stay in this game, but he'll sit for the next two minutes with a 2.25 to go in the third period. Faceoff will come all the way back down into the Danbury zone. And we'll skate four aside for the first time in this game for a minute and 23 seconds. So 2.25 to go. Trevor Souza, Jamison Bain up front for the Sea Captains. Face off one by Dylan Walker. And now Deitch gives up ahead. Martins Lepsch over the blue line into the Norwich zone. Lepsch behind the cage. Ridden into the wall by Loftus. Nikita Kovalev turning with it. Kovalev, who already has two in this game, tries sending one in front. Deitch a shot, he scores. Jacob Deitch. And it's 6 2 Danbury. Well, Nikita Kovalev, as we spoke about him during the second intermission, he can score, he can dish it out, as well as he finds Jacob Deitch all by himself sneaking through the slot. For Deitch, it's his fourth goal of the season. And with 2.03 to go in the third period, the Danbury Junior Hattricks lead it 6-2. Here's Leps. Up ahead, Deitch. At center ice, Nikita Kovalev. Thrown far side, off the stick of Leps into the zone. Tries to leap his way around Hayden. Hayden steals the puck back the other way. Given long for Ethan Ranger, who rolls one in on the cage of McGibbon. Hayden, a centering feed, knocked away by Leps. 95 seconds to go. Here is Dylan Walker. Can't quite get around Daryl Smith. Now in the corner, Walker and Hayden battle for the puck. 20 seconds to go in four on four action. And then Norwich will officially be on the power play again for about 30 seconds or so. Daryl Smith in the corner, throws one off the side of the cage. About out in the slot, picked up by Walker. Here's Dylan Walker on a developing two-on-one. Walker with Wallace diving out is Loftus. He breaks the play up. Now, Sean Loftus wears the captain's C on this Norwich Sea Captains Club for a reason. In a game where his team's trailing by four and a minute to go in the third period, Loftus still diving out to break up whatever he can. Sent all the way down the ice. Yoakum will leave it aside for Romita. 40 seconds to go. Norwich on the power play for another 12 seconds. Here's Jack Kinahan. Good to see him back on the ice. Kinahan driving down low. Centering feed knocked away by Harshman. 
Kinahan again, this time leaves it for Loftus. Loftus winds and fires. Puck gets deflected by Harwell out of play. Penalty has expired against Felitti. And with 23.1 seconds to go, perhaps the last faceoff of the game coming up to the left of Liam McGibbon. Shots on goal. Seemingly have been updated a little bit. Danbury holding on to a 36 to 24 advantage there. Liam McGibbon has stopped 22 of those 24 as this is wrapped around the wall. Felitti will simply send it down ice. Yoakum comes to the bench in favor of the extra attacker. So six skate, or no, only five skaters on for the sea captains. Or check that, there's six as Troy Harwell was deep in the Danbury zone. Either way, it won't make a difference. The Danbury Junior Hattricks have now won.